On this episode, we talk about what's going on. Well, that's what we do on our show, but we're talking about the Peloton wife. And how Ryan Reynolds hired her to publicize his aviation gym. Yeah, smart move, making aviation gin. No, I mean, smart move, strike while the iron's hot and she's popular. There you go. And of course, we talk about a new world record and New Year's resolution. Yay, my favorite. Well, actually, the world's records are your favorite, but the resolutions are my favorite. And I'm deciding to do a bunch of things and then forgetting them. Okay, well, then you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to remember them and then better yourself throughout the year. Oh, well, then I have a great resolution this year. It's how I'm going to give gifts next year. We'll talk about it during the show. I just need to come up with a name for it. Well, if that's going to be your attitude, then this will be our last show. Give up on my way. Wait, wait, what did that pumper just say? Our last show? What? Oh, it's our last show uh, um, of the year. Oh. oh. Ha ha, okay. I had you worried, didn't I? Well, then I can say, welcome to what happened in the world today. <laughs> now you threw me off. Let me try it again. Maybe okay. this is our last show. Maybe welcome, to what last show. World, welcome to what happened in the world today. Uh, I'm, you're Steve and I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show and podcast. And we're going to talk about our last show of, of the year. <laughs> Wow. wow. That, really, that really threw you for a loop, didn't well, it? Well, because you didn't say the key words. You didn't say, I didn't say any of the key words. I just said it was our last. Well, if we keep going this way, it might be our last show. It is show 310, though, in case you're talking. <laughs> oh, no, that's 1812. Oh, oh, that's behind me. Yeah. Yes. 310. Oh, I'm, why am I yawning? We have 310 <laughs> shows on the road. Oh, you like my Christmas present? Um, I haven't figured it out yet. Ah, it's very, very cool. Well, I see something to do with Wawa. Should I, should I tell you the story behind it? That'll help you figure it out. Um, no, let me keep guessing. So okay. We make well, this show three hours we'll, long. We'll keep guessing this throughout the show, but here is a hint. <laughs> My son did design this for our family. For me. Oh. For me. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. All right, so um, yeah, no. Uh, now we've train wrecked the the entire uh, show based off of what we said in our bumper. Um, yeah. yeah, last show of the year. This is it. Anywho, you'll be glad to know that this is our show right before Christmas. No, this is our show right after Christmas. That's right why after Christmas. Christmas yeah, right after Christmas. Right, right before, before New, New Year's. Year. This is the twenty eighth, Saturday. Then you've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday's New Year Eve, right? And Wednesday is New Year. Yes, but did you notice what's already been happening? No. The days are getting longer. Yay! Oh, They're yeah, now twenty-four yeah, hours and three sure. seconds. So I've invented a new. I don't know if it's a holiday, but it's a new way of giving gifts. So okay. you've you heard of you heard of of you know black. Friday where you buy all the gifts and you heard a Cyber right. Monday where you buy all the gifts. Right. Well, I want to come up with a after sales Saturday or, or after Christmas, buy it now. So you know how everything goes on sale after Christmas? Correct. You well, know how really everything, want... but a lot of things go on sale. So after remember Christmas. I wanted to get you that really nice gift, but I just couldn't afford it. Right. So for Christmas, what I did is I wrapped up a picture of the item I wanted to get you. And okay. that's what I put underneath the tree. I put the picture of what I wanted to give you under the tree. Okay. And now, after Christmas, that it's on sale, I will buy it and give it to you. There you go. Cool. So I just need to come up with a cool name for it. Hmm. Let's right, see. Everybody. How about... Go comment. Go down to what happened out world. Comment. Comment on here. What should we call it besides Steve is cheap after Christmas? <laughs> Oh, see that it sort of works steve is but but i'm not cheap it's just i want to get you something nicer and if i wait till after christmas hmm. i can afford it does that make sense though wait a minute wait a minute we could use your initials sag sa steve's after jingle Discount presents. Yeah, I don't know. 
Why not? Steve's after jingle, Christmas presents. It works. I have another guess on my hat. Um, um, let's see. It's the four of you of the family members. Ah, there you go. And the top one kind of looks like a hip spermy, so that must be you. <laughs> the the um the blue right, one kind of looks like like the picture that they have uh, of the uterus uh, in the encyclopedia, so that must be Peggy. <laughs> and um, let's see. Your daughter has the sort of like hot air balloon landing on the roof, and your son is a water baby. Okay. You are close. But if you think of it like the fifth element, there are four elements there, but they are not elements because there are 12 of them. So what would those be if there are 12 of them? Uh, it would be Chris, uh, Chinese New Year's. Okay, they're more than 12 years. But Chinese close. Zodiac things. Zodiac, yes. These are, these are uh, Zodiac signs. Okay. So the top one is me, and that's Leo. The H look looking like a lion. The H looking thing is a, um, well, that's what the Zodiac signs look like. I, I, didn't, I didn't draw these. Okay, um, I'll take your word for it. I didn't create these, um, but if you look, that's what the, the signs are. So the, the Leo is the circle with the squirrel, the squiggle. Pisces okay. is the H, right? So let's see how smart you are. What is uh, the August, uh, not the August, the January, late January uh, water sign? Um. This is the coming of the... Oh, good old Aquarius, which is the Aquarius. Eye yep. And then Libra is the uh, yellow one. And then these are all of our favorite colors, purple, red, yellow, and green. How awesome is that? Isn't that great design? And, and you also have purple, red, yellow, and green behind you. And by the way, you need to move your left like three inches. Left. I don't know which way left is. Your left. There you go. Perfect. Now we're more better. I no, noticed no. that in the last show, you got some of them you cut off. Oh, well, thing. So yeah, go. nobody's going to notice because they're all listening to the podcast. Right, and they should be listening to the podcast. So if they want to see my hat, they're going to have to come at least look at this part. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, so those are all zodiac signs. Again, I did not draw these. Um, I did not invent these. I don't know. I don't know who did. But that it wasn't four, Houdini. Four members of my family. Cool. I'm yawning again. What so, are you wrong with me? You hear about our bizarre weather? No. What's we, going on? We are breaking records. We are in the 50s at the end of December. That's bad for you. It's Is very you? bad for us. Well, yeah. It's good because we're getting stuff done outside, but it's terrible for the for resort the industry. Business. Yep. So, like, you know what really happened because of the weather? We're finally getting caught up. It's all the rain we had. They're finally getting all of the farm fields harvested. But that really? meant, guess what? I get stuck behind those stupid, slow-moving tractors. Yeah, well, I mean, that's all you have in Wisconsin is slow-moving tractors. They have the little sign, the little triangle on the back. That's correct. Slow-moving. Yep. Yeah, there's, there's another place they have those slow-moving signs, and that's in Amish country. Yes, but they those are on the back of buggies. On the back of the buggies. Or on but, the butts of a horse. What do you got to do to speed up a tractor? I'm going to have to say um, take it to Britain. Put ethanol in it. Take it to Britain. Take it to Britain. Yeah. Why, why would I take it to Britain? Because that is where JCB Engines put a uh, uh, one of their engines in one of the tractors, and they made the world's fastest tractor. Oh, so it does like 37 miles an hour. Well, just so you know, and I know you love Guinness. The previous world record for a tractor was 87.27 miles per hour. Yeah, if you drop it from a cargo plane. Yeah, no, that was actually driving. What they do is they drive it in two directions. They usually go to an airfield and they drive it one direction, and then they turn around and have to drive it back the other direction. They set up a quarter-mile speed drop, and, and I, I know how Guinness works. And then they take the average of the two runs to give you that. That way so, it sort of negates the wind factor? I guess. So, yeah, so 87 or uphill or downhill. Right. Uh, 87.27 miles per hour. So I actually have a video 
of them breaking the world record. So let me go over here, excuse me. Does that mean you're minutes. going to share the screen? Share the sound. And uh-oh. Mascadios. This is not good. Where did it go? All right, I'm going to have to close that. I've got to minimize this. Here it is. So right here it is. So why can't I share it? Try sharing it again. Why can't we um, be friends? Why can't we be friends? Oh, wait, we are friends. Uh, I'll try this again. Here we go. Oh, wait, I'm not going to share it quite yet. Okay. I do want to say that they made two attempts at this. The first attempt that they did in, in, uh, in England, they got it up to 103.6. Ooh. And they said, fast. you know what? That's pretty good, but not good enough. They said, we're going to go do it again. And they went to four months later, brought Guinness back, and they did this. Let's go, Cutters. Ooh, cool music. That's the guy from Guinness. You know what's funny is you see that there's a road next to it. You see this Check guy. Did you see that? And I'm thinking the guys in the cars are going like, what the hell? There it is. Love the size of the parachute they put out. Yeah. It's like a quarter of the size of the machine. I know. Like, like, what, what's the point of that? Of all your yellow marks. All right. The new record, 135.19. Awesome sauce. There you go, baby. Pretty cool, huh? Ah, uh, yes, so, it was. So you, cool. got, you got your fix of your tractor. You got your fix of your Guinness World Book of Records. And that's all you got. He thinks my tractor's sexy. Oh, yeah. Who did that? Oh, um. It really turns here around. Hey, you know tractor, what I don't understand tractor, is down tractor. here later, it says that they, they got a tractor up to 153.771 miles an hour. Oh, 0.77. Well, that's, that's not that much more. 153.77. The official speed for the two passes was what they said. Oh, because they used the average one, right. So that's why it's 135.91 for the book. However, one way, it did get up to 153.771. Yeah. So, cool. so, or that, or you could do the Jeff Foxworthy thing for Tractor Thursday where you take a picture. Uh, Tractor Back Thursdays is what he calls it. Really? You take a picture with you and your tractor on Tractor Back Thursday on Instagram. Cool. Jeff Foxworthy did that. Yeah, I know all those kinds of weird, stupid things. Yeah, well, he does some good redneck stuff. Yes, he does. So um, this is the thing that you wanted to do last show, but we didn't have time. So I would like to get a new car. Not a new, new car. A new-to-me used car. Right. But a good used car, and I don't know what to get. Everyone is telling me, stick with Honda or Toyota. And I would like an SUV, something that gets a little more gas mileage. So I was looking at the Honda, no. I don't, I don't want to get a CRV. I was looking at the Toyota Highlander because I don't want a Toyota RAV4. But Susie has an SUV, right? Well, she, has a, the, she has a Subaru Forester, which you really, really love. Is that a crossover or is that an SUV? No, the crossover is different. This is just a yeah. Forester. They actually have one called the oh Cross Track. That's what they call yeah, it. Yeah, but uh, I got you again. I know oh, it's a type of car, an SUV or a crossover. Right. As they're, as they're actually styled. So, so you had something there that you wanted to show me. Yes. Well, basically, I'm going to have to share this because okay. I, I know what you said, and it came to me that you wanted you, you need a used car but you want it to be new to you and you want it to be different than what other people have, right? Not necessarily, uh, but I'm afraid. Oh, well, here we go. Okay. See, now, here, here you get, you get the, the, the power of a truck, uh, the I ride like, of a car, I like the and Bondo. it's held together with duct tape. Oh, was that duct tape? I thought it was Bondo. Oh, is that Bondo? Oh, yeah, I guess it's Bondo. I, uh, I don't know for sure. Well, what do you think? That pretty would funny. work, don't you think? That's pretty funny. I heard a noise behind me. I don't know what that was. 
That's pretty funny. So that, that, where was that? Where was that vehicle? Was that just um, something you found, or was that? Uh, no, no. This, <laughs> when I saw what you wanted to do, I saw that. And I said, "Oh, this ought to be really interesting." Now, the other thing is that I found, which, I you know how in Chicago traffic can sometimes really annoy you, right? Chicago, yeah. Okay, now you said that sometimes you do have a traffic problem there also, right? Oh, yeah, we definitely do. Okay, so I was thinking, if, if that is a problem, maybe we should get you something a little bit better designed for traffic. All right. How about your very own car tank? There you go. It even has steel wheels on the front. That's it hilarious. does. That you know, is plus, it's got a freaking howitzer in it. Yeah, you know, sure you got a slow poke in front of you that's in the left lane and they will not move over. That's it. They're gone. Goodbye. There you go. Say good night. There you go. That's pretty funny. So before we get over to our genuine positivity message, um, my background is for later in the show. Those are New Year fireworks. Yes. What is your picture behind you with all the computers? Oh, yes. Um, is that legit? It is, is that? That's, that is my current gaming setup uh, downstairs in my house. All right. Why do you have monitors behind other monitors? Because that's kind of um, seems like. Here's the thing. It's not going to stay this way because I, I told you I took advantage of Cyber Monday and I picked up a new computer because my office computer has been acting up. Right. So I'm going to take one of those computers, not the newest one, because the newest one is too good. Um, I'm going to take one of my other ones to complement my upstairs office so, I'm oh, going so to that's, use, that's multiple computers that's not one computer running all that's, no monitors. that's three computers running two monitors each okay so i have six monitors oh my god god so basically right now there's an event going with the game lineage two for those of you who pay attention uh, and that means i've got parties i've got three group three parties of three so i we always knew you were a partier yes so basically, you can sort of see if you look right about there. That's my character, and that's my that's my character killing that monster. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see that clearly. Clearly, that, can see that. I know you can. If you can see my finger, you can see that too. Uh, so, oh, oh somebody uh, loves you. Pause, pause us. Oh. Pause us. It's resume, right? Recording. Right. Yep. Yep. We're so, back. So sorry about that. I had to take a call. So because he is so important. Yeah. So we're back. Uh, Scott will figure out where he wants to cut it and bring it back in when he sees that. I apologize for that. Um, but it might, might just do it at, hey, cut this and cut it there. Considering that back. you started sharing and then I started sharing, I'm going to have a lot of editing work this week. Yes, you are. But that's cool. So, and now it's time for our very last genuine positivity message because no more genuine positivity messages for 2019. Nope. The next genuine positive message will be for 2020. I can see clearly now 2020 is here. But our last genuine positivity message for 2019 uh, will be um, written, penned, and recited by Fun Guy the Entertainer. Every year has to have an ending. That time is almost here. And it's really not the end. You know, as the new year brings another opportunity to have a positive impact on those around you. Yeah, got some. So, yeah, treat every day like positive impact. Start all over again and find the positive and uh, do that. So, we're going to go don't right do that rule thing like, I'm positive I'm going to have a crappy day. No, that's not the same thing. I'm 100% right that you're wrong. So, I don't know if you saw, let me get this video going. Uh-oh, more sharing, more editing. Yeah, more sharing, more editing. More is more. Okay, so... This video has gotten a huge, huge, uh, how huge was it, Steve? Uh, huge uprising on the internet. I mean, unbelievably huge. Um, people boycotting, saying, no, you can't, no, no, terrible, terrible people. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Um, again, find the positive in this. But this is kind of like the, the New Year resolution and Christmas thing. I don't know if you've seen this or not, but here it is. Okay, I can, can, yes. Now. A Peloton? Give it up for our first time ride. Right. First ride. I'm a little nervous, but excited. Let's do this. Five days in a row. You surprised? I am. 
6 a.m. Yay. Rising with the sun. That was totally worth it. Let's go, Grace in Boston. 50 rides. She just said my name. A year ago, I didn't realize how much this would change me. Thank you. This holiday, give the gift of Peloton. So this poor actress is getting blasted for doing that commercial. Oh, it's sexist. Oh, it's, you know, it's terrible. They're coming after her. They're, you know, it's like, she's just an actress. It's, it's you know, I, I forget all the, the you, you got to go online and check all of the stuff they're saying about right. this, this, this poor woman. So, so her name is Monica Ruiz and she's an actress and she's been in a few things. Um, you know, the TV show about a boy. Now, I watched the TV show about a boy. I don't remember her in this in 2014, but she's listed as hot woman. So, okay. so one of the people says, great. Somebody who's already in shape gets a bike, and a year later, she's still in shape. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I was like, okay. Hello. Uh, that's one of the things that we've all complained about with exercise videos. Everybody is already in good shape. It's like, if you were fat like me and you tried to do that exercise, you'd be in the hospital with a coronary. Right. Yeah, she was in the game as the Latin girl. She was in the birthday boys as the female model. And then finally in Baby Daddy in 2015, she was Marissa. She actually has a name. Woo! But yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty fun. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That, you know. Men the X is TV series that people have, you know, yeah. no lives. Yeah, but yeah, people are picking on her. But because people people are picking on her, uh, I think I talked about it last week that they did a spoof on it on, on Saturday Live. Ryan Reynolds has a new gin out. Did you know that? No, I did not. All right. He has a new gin out. So he, 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 he's capitalizing on this like crazy. He's like, well, I've been in this situation. I'm just an actor doing a thing. And, you know, it's not like I thought it was going to be this bad or all this stuff. So I'm now going to share with you Ryan Reynolds' video of her in in Monica Ruiz doing so the the title of the Peloton one is the gift that gives back okay Ryan Reynolds commercial is called the gift that doesn't give back okay so This gin is really smooth. Yeah. We can get you another one, if you like. You're safe here. To new beginnings. To, to new, new beginnings. beginnings. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> it's even better! Okay. No, no, that's a commercial. It so, says it all. So, so <laughs> this is a safe space. Just go ahead and get sloshed. Yeah. Uh, Works for me. So, I don't even drink it. I like so, it. So there you go. Aviation gin, Ryan Reynolds. That's pretty funny. But yeah, so. So Peloton. Um, yeah, so I, I was surprised. It, it, was, it was a big deal. This whole, uh, you know, uh, uh, all the news Sources picked it up, but then you know he does the the spoof and the comedians right. are doing about it. And yeah, uh, I'm trying to try to think of uh, psychopath husband motivates in purchasing his wife a freaking workout bike for Christmas. Uh, you know, <laughs> babe, I want a divorce. Uh, you know, there's, there's a uh, bunch of spoofs out there you can go. Of course, there is. But yeah. Oh, 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 where are you going, Goose? Did you get it? Did you get it? Almost. He went the other way. He was halfway uh, up and turned around. So since so since we were on, you know, Christmas giving, giving the gift, and then obviously everybody's gonna, you know, oh, what's your New Year's resolution? Number one, get back in shape. Uh, we'll we'll get to that in a sec. We'll do we'll do uh, America's top uh, New Year's resolution for 2020 at the uh, as our last one. But I, okay. I was like, what? What resolutions could you do if you were to actually do resolutions 
right? So okay. I, I saw Good Housekeeping has a list of New Year's resolutions. I see that. So let's see what they say. So what does Good Housekeeping say? So their first resolution you can do, add more citrus to your grocery cart. I have absolutely no idea why you would do that to your grocery cart, you know? It, yeah, you, you might want to eat some Yeah, citrus, I was going to say it would make a lot citrus, more sense. But yeah, Although your, I you know, must admit, I must admit, it does make the, the cart look pretty with all that citrus in it. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, uh, whatever. It keeps your skin looking healthy. Okay, so, okay. Good housekeeping, you know, healthy skin, vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, right. collagen. Okay, good. Okay. Eat veggies regularly. Okay. Now, okay. you know Santa is a big fan of veggies, right? Yeah. I tell all the kids to make sure they eat their veggies. And if they ask me what my, my favorite veggie is, do you know what it is? Carrots. Nope. Cake. Cake? Cake. Cake? Carrot cake. Cake. So I was right. Carrots. Um, here's a good year's resolution. Book all of your doctor's visits for the year. That's right. Open up your calendar and mark down all the times you're going to go to the doctor. Like you actually go to the doctor. Well, here's the other thing. Um, sometimes getting uh, appointments is almost impossible without like nine months in advance notice. So you can't just write them down. You have to actually call and make them. Yeah, which helps too. Oh, here we go. This is a really good one from Good Housekeeping. Cutting calories without going crazy. Well, how would you do that? Oh, why don't you buy their 400 calorie instant pot Good Housekeeping cookbook? Yes, for $17. Yeah, never mind. And right off the bat, you've lost weight. $17 worth of weight. There you go. Or, or share your resolutions one by one. There you go. So just so now you just got to do one resolution, one resolution, and then share it, and then do another resolution and share it. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Become a plant owner. All right, okay. this year I'm going to become a plant owner. So what you're telling me is you are going to have um, botany slaves. Yes. Well, they can't run away. Oh, that's true. That's true. You know, I was driving down the road the other day, and I saw this big sign on the side of the road that said "Plant Entrance," and I didn't see a single plant trying to go in. Well, research shows that it, taking care of plants does work on your autonomic nervous system, which helps reduce stress. Okay. And lower blood pressure. Except when all your plants die, I would think that would be more stressful, but whatever. Mm -hmm. they, I guess they ain't running away. Here, here's, here's a new resolution. Do one thing at a time. Okay, good housekeeping. We're going to start flying through this. Okay, yeah. because these are ridiculous good housekeeping. Make your home more fragrant. All right, fart more. Yep. Yep, there you go. Good. Take the stairs. Okay. Right. Turn, make, put, put in escalators instead. Okay. Decorate with family history. Put pictures uh, of your family. I have nowhere to go with that. Yeah. Sanitize your phone weekly. There, now, there's a good New Year's resolution. I'm going to sanitize my phone weekly. Yep. Just throw it right in the bathtub. There you go. Plan a vacation. All okay. right. Don't bother so, going on them because that'll stress you out, but plan right. one. Uh, start doing yogi, yogi, start doing yoga with your partner. Okay. I'm going to sure. leave that one alone because that we're not an arc rated show. Yeah. Listen to novels while you work out. Well, that, yeah, that's a good one. But also turn the speed up when you're listening to novels. You know, you can do that on audio books. You can actually turn yes. the speed up. Everybody sounds like chipmunks, but hey. But do that. You can get more books in. Volunteer. That's a good, that's a good resolution. So. Oh, no, 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 no. Volunteer, yeah. volunteer, volunteer. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. You have to read it literally. They can find it themselves, the good housekeeping one. Hydrotherapy. Uh, do one new exercise move. How about just do one exercise move? There you go. <laughs> Delegate more chores. I like that. Oh, I do like that one too. Steve, Take I want you to do all the work now. Oh. Yeah. So there's 40 of these. And uh, I'm going to just buzz through these really quick. And um, I'm trying to see if there's anything. Oh, shop for new speakers. Uh, go to bed on time. With your partner, wink, wink. Um, yeah, really. Now, you know what? Good housekeeping. Not a lot here. For, you know, drink up, get artsy. Child wait, 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 wait. Long. Number thirty-seven is a good one. What is it? Ease stress with kindness. That works with our show. All right. Good enough. Well, good housekeeping. Thank you. Um, not a lot of help. So now I found this one called Your Tango. And Your okay. Tango had a very interesting title. 
which I'm like, okay. Then I started reading it and went, huh? 50 New Year resolutions, every single person should be, oh, you know what? There's no comma there. Oh, I thought it was single people, but it's not single people. It's every single ah. person should be naked. So I thought this was for single people. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense after I started reading it. But here they come. Ready? I won't take everything so seriously. I could use that one. Yes. I will make my dream come true. I will give myself more compliments. I will spend less time online. I will smile more. I will get more sleep. Yeah, okay. I will volunteer, declutter, stop making excuses, uh, switch up my routine. I will live in the moment. We talk about that living in the moment. Yep. I will laugh every day. Ha! Okay. So I've taken care of today's laugh. Now we have to wait till tomorrow. That's right. So you can be go, grump for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at these going, eh, I will want less. That one I need. I will pay it forward. That's a good one. Uh, I will stop procrastinating. We'll get to that one in a bit. Uh, probably uh, tomorrow. I will eat better, not less. Oh, I will eat better and less. Uh, I will take a trip to somewhere new. I'm going to try and do that this year. Okay. I'll try and go down to Florida for golf. Floridia? Yep. You should go golfing in the Keys. Yeah, from key to key. I can't yes. drive the ball that far. Well, you can if you put it in the trunk of your car. Hey, you know what I never did? A, a lot of things, Steve. Never started a timer. Oh, well, that's any, okay. I know where we're at. Do you have any idea how long the show we is? We are at 32 minutes. Oh, Okay. Well, then that is enough of this, of Tango. So now we're going to take a look at America's top New Year's resolutions for 2020. Okay? Fun, this is fun six, fun six? 2020 for the Justin Timberlake tour. Um, so this is a survey of U.S. adults November 12th through the 14th from IPSOS for Urban Plates. Okay. Urban Plates. Plates? Plates? I don't even know what the hell that is. Plates. Those are things you usually put food on when you eat and carry yep. your food around. So what I like is the math, how they did this. Okay. Okay. 51% of what? 51% of the 2011. You're, you're going to love this. So, you know, look this up. Um, this is America's top New Year's resolution 2020. 51% will manage their finances better. The next 51% will eat healthier. Right. Okay, that's 102%. Okay, you know what you're missing here? No. It's not one thing they're choosing. They're supposed to choose their top 10 things. Oh. See? So out of 10 things, got it. Okay. So eat finance is better and eat healthier the top two that people are going to pick for 2020. Correct. Gotcha. The next one is be more active. 50% of people thought that would be a good idea. Right. So if you're going to eat healthier and be more active, what do you think the next one is? Um, put on some weight. No, lose weight. Oh, ah. lose weight. And then if you're eating healthier, you're more active and you're losing weight, you're more relaxed, so you are going to improve your mental well-being. Theoretically, yes. Right? So. And, of course, if, if you've done all those things, you've become one of the beautiful people. What's going to happen to your social connections? You're going to have more social connections. There you go. And if you're able to go out and do all these things, you'll probably have to learn a new skill. Yes. <laughs> like, like social connections. Right? And then a lot of people, 22% of the people have on their list, be more eco-friendly. Exactly. No, that does not mean not shaving and not bathing. No? Well, technically you're saving water, but you're just ruining it, the, everything else by your odor. Oh, yeah. Oh, and if you have not purchased your champagne or sparkling wine for New Year's Eve, Guess which are the most popular? Um, let me think. Number one is probably Angry Orchard Crisp Apple Cider. 
No, believe it or not, it's Andre's. Remember, like Andre's. Andre the Giant. Andre's Cold Dock or Andre. Oh. But then, but then I didn't know this. Barefoot Bubbly is also very popular. Really? Yeah. I, I wouldn't have thought of that, but okay. Then you got you know Martini and Rossi and Corbell. Right. right and then everybody knows Cooks. Yes. Cooks is, Cooks is not very expensive. And then for those who can't afford it, uh, Dom Perignon. Yes. Right? Something like three hundred dollars a bottle nowadays, but whatever. Yeah, that's why not number one because you're, it's your favorite, but you aren't going out and buying it. Shonda. I remember when I was DJing at the old Interlaken back in the day, and um, Interlaken. I, yes, I I had um, a guy of course flaunting his wealth. He was buying everybody Dom Perignon uh, glasses of you know champagne. Have some more Dom. So he he made me drink one, and you know I'm not a big fan of alcohol in the first place, but I'll tell you something. There's no way I would pay even a dollar for that stuff. Well, no, I'd pay a dollar for it, and then I'd turn around and sell it to people who think it's all that great. <coughs> uh, excuse me. No, that's crazy. That is crazy. So, yeah, Shandong Cupcake Vineyards. But, yeah, and you get your Bollinger and all that other good stuff. But, yeah, so I thought that was rather interesting to have, uh, have that. So, all right. You know. So, so now you have – so did we ever go over your New Year's resolutions? Did you ever – have you achieved any of those? Yeah, we did that. You said that. I thought I did a good job. I still didn't get to Las Vegas. But. Didn't get, yeah, the trip to Las Vegas. You got the bunny on the screen. Right. Uh, your Christmas list. Yep. Um, so a wallet. You want a wallet. Well, that special kind of wallet. Yeah. That we found. Yeah, I don't remember where the link is for that. Yeah, and so obviously want- I'm not getting that again this year. You wanted to get, yeah, so you wanted to, so for 2019, you wanted a wallet. So you're not getting it because I forgot where the link was. Right. Um, but I'm buying it for you after Christmas. So you're going to get a, a email with a picture of it in there and go, where's the link so I can buy it for you? There you go. Okay. That's my Christmas for you. Uh, 259 or less weight. And I did that. Did that. And then trip to Las Vegas. Still didn't so do that. I'm only missing two out of five. That's not bad. No, there's only in 2019 we dropped it to three. Oh. So now I'm gonna put you on the spot. What is your 2020 resolution? Still gonna put the trip to Las Vegas on there? Yes, definitely gotta do that. It's definitely a thing that must be done. All right. So this will be the third year for Scott to do his trip to Las Vegas. So please, folks. And then, then I have to get down below two thirty-five by the end of the year. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, two thirty-five or L E S S. Obviously, it's going to get a lot harder right now. This is the holiday sure. season. I put four pounds back on. Yep. Oh uh, yeah. You don't even want to know what I put back on this year. I'm not going to ask because it's going to be depressing. Because if you can't do it, boy. Oh, no, I, I can. I just chose not to. Yeah. There's a difference. I just chose not to. All right, well, there's two. So we've gone from five to three to now two. I was tempted to come up with a third one because three is a good number because that way you could at least try to get two out of three and be ahead. Yep. If you only do one, you're only 50-50. Well, I'll leave another one while we talk about your fun guy cooks for you. Uh, I did like your Snicker salad. Oh, my God. That was so freaking good. I just had some more of it tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah it is good. Um, your camp wrangle is fine over the top. You never you never went out of frame on that. You was like, I think I'm out of frame. You yeah. haven't aimed at the top of your stove. If you're on your top of your stove anywhere, you're there. Yeah, you're no. I was expecting to see you drop it on the floor or something like that. Yeah, no, no. It's I thought I was using the face one at that point, and I wasn't. Oh, but then you notice that the face when I screwed up and I had it tilted at a slightly angle, so it was cutting the top of my head off. Yeah, well, that's okay. Yeah. Um, you'll get better. And then I noticed the time was there the whole time, too. You don't know how to shut that off. Not the whole time, only on the one camera. Uh, the Somehow, one camera. the new camera, I can't get it to turn off the, the time on. Turn, turn off the time. That sucks. But I'll that's okay. I'll figure it out sooner these days. Why am I yawning so much? But, yeah, so that was good. And then I did agree with you by the fun size Snickers because of the fact that you're cutting them up. But now here's yes. another trick you can do. You ready? Uh-huh. 
Throw them in a freezer. No. I take mentioned a hammer, it in the show. Take a hammer and shatter them. Yes. And then your pieces are way too freaking small. Oh, really? You think so? Yes. I say that right in the video. See, you didn't watch the whole thing. You just looked I at it. I did watch the whole thing. I did watch the whole thing. I did watch the whole thing. I missed that. Yes, I mentioned. Don't freeze it. If you freeze it, the pieces are too small. I don't think so. I disagree with you. Besides, if you don't, if you don't, don't if you freeze it and forget them in there, then they're really good frozen. I like to freeze my my um, Charleston shoes. Mm, I never done and that. my Cadbury eggs. Those are my two favorite things to freeze. Wow. Okay. Besides, of course, popsicles and stuff like that. Well, I think we've officially run out of subjects. We ran our, uh, our Oh, my God. Out. We exhausted the entire year of 2019. That's it. 2019. It's Wait, no, no. We haven't exhausted it yet. There's one more thing we could talk about. There is our phrase origin story. Yep. And I bet you we could li- run this on for like an hour. We could. We All right, could. let's do it. All right, so our phrase origin story will be about that song, Old Lang Syne. Which, hey, what language is that? A Scottish, my man. Really? Yes, it's from a Scottish language poem written by Robert Burns in 1788 and sent to the tune of a traditional pop song called Road Number 6294. I know that was a terrible British accent, wasn't it? I, well, I. First off, you said it was Scottish, so. Well, yes, but you know, it's always it's always those those really nice British men that introduce stuff with the proper information. Oh well, yeah, like on Dancing with the Stars, yeah. now dancing the cha cha. So. so, but it's well oh. known in many countries, especially of course in the English speaking world. It's traditional use being to bid farewell to the old year at the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve. By extension, it is also sung at funerals, graduations, and as a farewell or ending to other occasions. Now, here's something that I remember. The international scouting movement in many countries uses it to close jamborees and other functions. Really? Yes. Really? And, of course, this poem, uh, Scott's title, may be translated into standard English as, are you ready for this? Go for it. Old, long, since. Doesn't sure. translate well, does it? No, old, old Lang Syne is old long since. Yes, yeah, but that, yeah. Adam, idiomatically, it means long, long ago, days gone by, or old times. Consequently, for old Lang Syne, as it appears in the first line of the chorus, might be loosely translated as for the sake of old times. Old long since. For yes. the sake of old long since. I like that better. I'm going to sing that for now. Should old acquaintance be forgotten and never brought to my old long since. Well, whatever. So there's other words that we do use during this time. Yes, we do. Baby New Year. Right. I'm glad you said that because if you just left it as baby, nowadays you can get slapped for that. Hey, baby, it's cold outside. Yep, smack. But, however, baby is a late Middle English term that is the, the, the diminutive form of babon. The word which is believed to imitate the way infants babble. Right. So, makes perfect is. sense so to me. Baby is a late Middle English term, and then champagne. Everybody, did you know? Well, a lot of people don't know this, but it can't be called champagne unless it's from the Champagne, champagne. province Prince in France. northeastern France. Yeah, that's right. Otherwise, it is sparkling wine. No, it's it's champagne or sparkling wine. Yes, and then you have the New Year's countdown. Right, and countdown. The final countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. But yeah, they started out with launching rockets. Ignition sequence. Four. Yeah. But did you know that it's from a old French word, computer, meaning calculate, and that down, makes perfect sense old to me. English dune, meaning of off the hill and downward. So I don't understand how. Launching a rocket is downward, but okay, whatever. Count down. Well, you're, yeah, the numbers are going down. Well, the, okay, the flames the numbers shoot are getting downwards so that the rocket goes up. 
yeah, the numbers are going down, but they're okay. So that makes sense. And then you have uh, fireworks yes. during the 4th of July, which are behind me there. And that's from the old English fire and the work from the old English werework, meaning skilled or traded craft. So it is a skilled fire or a fire that is skilled. Okay, Steve fire. is a little bit confused as the time of year this has. Nothing to do with 4th of July, even though that's what he did it, a lot. This is New, New Year's New fireworks. Year fireworks. But it still works. It does. It still works. Fire, skilled fire. Uh, and then January originates from the Latin term Januarius mensis, meaning the month of Janus. Yes. Uh, traditionally believed that the ancient Roman god Janus is the ruler of the beginnings and transitions. So there you go. Janus, yes. January. And then everybody likes to get that kiss in on New Year's Eve. Did well, of course, because they were a heck of a band. Yes. They have a great show here, too. And there are a few uh, impersonators here. Really, really good. Oh, no, but it's actually um, from a Germanic origin of uh, Sisan and likely comes from the sound uh, that a kiss makes. Yes. So weird. And then at midnight. By the way, I stuck my tongue in your ear when I did that. Midnight is a pretty straightforward term. Comes yes. from the old English at midnight. Literally the middle, of the, the middle of the night. Halfway between when the sun rises and the sun sets. Midnight. And then New Year. Pretty straightforward. New Year came from. See, we're extending the phrases of the phrase origins. These we are. are. All the words you would use during New Year. Um, new is Germanic origin from Neo. And it means fresh. So new means fresh. And year is also a Germanic word from gear, meaning seasons. All right. I always thought Neo was from the Matrix, but okay. Fresh season. There you go. And then you got to go to a party. Party, right? party, party, party. So it's a Latin word, a partier, morphed into the English language party. So Latin to English. And it was denoted, uh, to denote a, um, a separation of individual or people partied into groups. It wasn't until 1922 that the term meant to have a good time. So 1922, it changed to be having a good time. All because of prohibition. Yep. And then resolution, which we just talked about a bunch of resolutions. We certainly did. Um, they, they were, uh, was first used as an intention to better oneself at the new year around 1780. However, the word was believed to have been first recorded around the late 14th century. It came from the Latin word meaning resolvere, meaning loosen or release. Let's all resolve to release ourselves from the bad habits this year. It so, works for me. So instead of doing new habits, you were going to release yourself from your old bad habits. Yes. It's kind of like what your New Year's resolution is. I'm going to stop doing that. So there you go. So there is a bunch of phrases or words uh, for the new year. So I have nothing left for this year. Except for I, I've enjoyed this year uh, with our our family, well, our family of listeners, our family yes. of watchers. viewers. I, li I like to watch. Um, and uh, I just want to tell everyone, uh, thank you very much for the enjoyable year. Uh, please, please help Scott find a sponsor for his cooking show and us. If you actually know how to do this and monetize this, uh, talk with us. We'll negotiate. I mean, you know, you bring us money, we figure out how to get yourself um but for any of our shows so if you like what we're doing please subscribe like watch your other shows and channels uh, i want to say thank you thank you thank you for watching um what do you got to say to that scott well for those of you who are watching thanks for enjoying all the time that we take to take these pictures and for those of you who enjoy listening thanks for letting me whistle and sing and do stuff throughout the thing because that is what i love to do he does love to be an entertainer. I do. Fun guy, the entertainer. So with that, again, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision, then please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Find Fun Guy, the Entertainer Cooks for You. Uh, I haven't done a show in a long time on what happened in Las Vegas today, um, but maybe that might be a resolution for me to start going out to shows and Ooh. filming them again. That yes. would be fun. Uh, maybe we'll do that. And um, I want you to uh, have a great, wonderful, and prosperous new year. I want you to live every day, and we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive. Live and love life. Have a good one.